السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين My brothers and sisters At times people get happy when we suffer a loss and people get sad when something good happens to us That's the nature of people sometimes So I need hope Why is it that when I achieve things people become jealous People want to do bad things People actually uh don't like it and when something bad happens to me they're excited they're gleeful they actually say wow he deserved it or she deserved it and so on and they were praying for that subhanallah the fault is theirs not ours we shouldn't boast and brag that's one thing because by boasting and showing off we're actually diminishing the healing that is required in our hearts in fact we're creating disease in it because showing off itself is a disease being boastful is a disease we need healing from it allah says you know what just be yourself live your life you don't need to prove that you're a wealthy person by having these big chains and by you know uh, uh, saying do you know who i am and what i have and so on no no you have a lot mashallah live a simple life and be happy help others mashallah allah will give you a lot that's a believer but There is an example in the Quran in Surah Ala Imran verse number 120 where Allah is telling us that you know what when they become happy at your loss it's not going to affect you in any way when they become sad at your victory it's not going to affect you in any way listen to the verse in tamsaskum hasanatun tasuhum wa in tusibkum sayi'atun yafrahu biha وَإِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا لَا يَضُرُّكُمْ كَيْدُهُمْ شَيْئًا Allah says, obviously this is regarding the people at the time of the Prophet Sallam, but the lesson is for all of us. Allah says, when good comes to you, it hurts them. And when bad befalls you, they become happy by it. And Allah says, if you don't want all of that to bother you, you need two things. What, what are those two things? وَإِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا If you bear sabr, which means if you are patient practice restraint patience and taqwa taqwa means god consciousness be conscious of allah and be patient so continue to pray continue to fulfill your obligations unto allah continue to fulfill the obligations and abstain from prohibitions keep that relation going with allah bear patience allah says their plot can never harm you never harm you allah is all knowing so that's something amazing because For me it's very very good in terms of healing. You know the battle of Badr was the one of the first major battles, the first major battle that took place after the persecution of the Muslims and when they were uh, basically in Medina Munawwara now and coming back to Mecca. That entire time that pro, that whole process, the first major battle that took place was the battle of Badr. The Muslims were very small in number, very small in number and The, the the people of Quraysh were actually more than three times the number of the Muslims. And so Allah makes mention of the help of Allah. وَلَقَدْ نَصَرَكُمُ اللَّهُ بِبَدْرُ وَأَنْتُمْ أَذِلَّهُ Remember when Allah helped you through the battle of Badr and you were small in number, very small, Allah helped you. Wow, when I read that verse, I really feel so good, so good. When I read the history of the battle of Badr, I feel so good because... 313 Muslims versus a thousand of the uh, people of Mecca. And subhanallah, Allah says, you know, we sent the angels. Angels. Allah says, we sent 3,000 angels to help you. And Allah says, if you have sabr and taqwa, the same qualities that we mentioned earlier, if you bear patience and you have got consciousness, the taqwa, Allah says, we will send you another 2,000, making it 5,000 angels to help you right now. You may not see them. We know we sent them and they protected you. You achieved ultimate victory because of that. Subhanallah. Amazing. I believe in the angels. We believe as part of our belief structure in the angels. They exist. And Allah sends the angels of mercy and protection to us in order to grant us, to comfort us, in order to give us, in order to protect us. That's amazing. So I'm convinced that when I bear sabr and I have taqwa, then I benefit from this perk of having the angels around me. 
looking after me, taking care of me by the instruction of Allah. And that's why when we read Ayatul Kursi and so on, it's reported that the angels are taking care of such people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and hope in his protection, in his guidance, and may he always be there for us. Amen. Now, many of us would probably have at some point engaged in something to certain levels, to different levels, immoral, whether it's speech, whether it's perhaps the dress code, sometimes it could become something of a sexual nature that is immoral. It's also known as immorality. Now, what hope do I have? A person who's committed adultery, fornication, not dressed properly, uh, bad vulgar words, really terrible accusations, so many different things. What do I do? What do I do? What type of hope? I need healing and I need hope. The first thing you have from Allah is hope. If you look at verse number 135 of Surah Al Imran, Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهِ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ Those who commit any form of immorality on any level of immorality, including adultery, fornication, whatever else it may be. Allah says, those who have wronged themselves in any way, committed any sin, if they remember Allah and seek forgiveness, Allah says, and if they don't continue in their bad ways. So you need these three things. Remember Allah, Seek forgiveness and don't continue in your bad ways. Allah says, we forgive them. We wipe out the sin, no matter what it was, completely, totally gone. And Allah says, these people, their reward and their recompense is forgiveness from their Lord and paradise, beneath which runs rivers flowing of all sorts of things. Subhanallah. Allah says, that those are the people. Who are they? The ones who committed the sins, but they didn't stay uh, focused on the sin, they focused on the repentance. Remember, I've always said, people judge you by your sin, but Allah judges you by your repentance. Amazing. What type of healing is there in that statement? What type of hope is there in that statement? People judge you by your sin. Allah judges you by your repentance. La ilaha illallah. I, I'm so hopeful whenever I think of that. It's amazing. Here it is. Allah says, you repented. Don't worry. It's over. It's gone. History. Don't do it again. Forget about it. So shaitan has his little new plan for people like that. He comes back to them and he makes them doubt. No, you can't have been forgiven so simply. It can't have been that you're forgiven so simply. That was too easy. Allah says, don't turn towards shaitan. Seeking forgiveness of Allah is the easiest thing you could ever do. Subhanallah. It's easier than breathing. Subhanallah, when you ask Allah's forgiveness, He's forgiven you before the next breath. <laughs> La ilaha illallah. Look at that hope. You're alive, you're a believer, you faltered, you may falter for a long, long time, and you may falter right up to death because you're a human being. But remember, stay away from major sin and try and improve yourself on a daily basis. If you happen to fall back into the same major sin again, don't worry, seek forgiveness again and don't go back to it. Renew the vow not to go back to it again and you will be forgiven again and again. Subhanallah, don't stop. So these are some of the verses that are filled with so much of hope. MashaAllah. Allah says, you know, don't give up and don't be sad. You will be victorious. This is speaking to the people of uh, uh, the time of the Prophet ﷺ when they were faced with these armies and so much of difficulty. But obviously it's for all of us. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. And don't be sad. Don't be sad. You will be victorious if you truly believe. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. So my brothers and sisters, when you've committed a sin, no matter what it is, quit it, seek the forgiveness of Allah, and you're totally forgiven. That's what Allah says. If you want the proper conditions of tawbah or repentance, Allah says you admit your sin, you seek forgiveness, you promise not to do it again, and that's it. You're gone, wiped out. I stopped the sin. I admitted it. I sought forgiveness from Allah. I promise not to repeat it again. There it goes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to turn to him at all times. 
May he accept from us our good deeds and forgive all our shortcomings. And may he wipe out our sins and make us hopeful that he has indeed forgiven us. أقول قولي هذا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته